To process incoming calls, go to the inbound section of the main menu. The Scenario tab for inbound calls opens. Create your first scenario by selecting one of the templates or click on the New Scenario button. So now we are in the Scenario Editor. On the left-hand side of the screen is a list of available blocks. To add a block to a scenario, simply drag it into the block palettes. After the scenario is configured, save it. Now all you have to do is add a phone number that will receive calls from your customers and launch this scenario. A phone number can be added in two ways. One, click Add Number inside the Scenario Editor. A menu will appear where you can select a number. You can add several numbers that are to be used at the same time and also use the same numbers that already process outbound calls. Two, go to the Numbers section. To add a number to the scenario, click the Add button for the corresponding number. Select a scenario from the list and click Add. You can add one number to only one scenario. To test the scenario, call one of the phone numbers you added. If you need to delete an existing scenario, first remove the phone numbers in the Scenario Editor or in the Numbers section. After that, you can delete the scenario. How to configure the processing of inbound SIP calls. To configure the processing of inbound SIP calls, go to the Inbound Calls section and then to the Scenario tab. To the right of the scenario you are working on, click on the icon with the English letter I. In the drop-down window, find the SIP URI item. Copy the SIP URI manually or click on the Copy icon. Set up forwarding to this address on your PBX. In order for Vox Implant Kit to receive calls from your PBX, add your IP addresses to the SIP whitelist. To do this, go to the Integrations section of the Vox Implant Kit main menu. Click the Add Address button and enter the IP address. Then click Save. To register in the Vox Implant Kit, follow the link in the description.